For this video, I want to talk about why uh, we stagger starts for uh, track events. So if you imagine a, um, a track Ugh, terrible. Um, either way, <laughs> um, let me see the inside person start here, going this way, whereas the outside person may start here, uh, going that way. So the question is, why do we stagger these starts? And what I want you to consider is maybe a merry-go-round. Actually, let's go with that. So. so let's say maybe we have a central pole here. Um, and person riding their over here, person riding here. On this merry-go-round, when they've completed one whole revolution, who's covered more distance? Well, if we go back to our topic about radians, um, let me draw another circle. Okay. We can see that at, at any given moment, since they're on the same rotating body, if this is like a top-down view, so a bird's eye view, they're what we would call their angular displacement, so they're their angular displacement uh, would be equal. They're, they're both changing their orientation by the same amount. But we can clearly see the person riding on the outside has to cover a greater distance. So when it comes to staggering starts in the Olympics or track and field events of any kind, um, it, it's to keep the race fair. So if everybody has their own lane to begin with, uh, um, we, the people on the outside need to start closer to the finish line. Um, that way they actually start the same distance away. <laughs> um, but anyway, so that's the difference between angular displacement and the actual displacement. Um, the question is, how are these two related? Well if that person is on the outside is making one whole loop around they are essentially making a circle so that circle would have a circumference of 2 pi times r where r is their radial distance away so that would be um, the distance traveled so let's bring that over here The angular displacement for one circle uh, is 2 pi. So we see the only thing we're missing here is r. So the angular displacement for an object on a uh, moving in a circle, if we know the radius of that circle, we can figure out the um, translational displacement or the linear displacement, or the, the distance if we've, if we've made multiple circles, right? Um, so that's essentially why we stagger starts. We want to make this the same for everybody. So that is um, angular displacement versus um, translational or linear displacement.